It is Black History Month, and News 4 is going to be highlighting that history all month long, beginning tonight with part of East Hampton's little-known past. The now wealthy Long Island Enclave was founded back in the 1600s, and many of the families whose names are still associated with the town were slave owners. As News 4's Greg Circle shows us, it's a history that's hiding in plain sight. Hampton's landscapes evoke affluence and a proud colonial history. We're going to show you an enslaved woman named Peg. But two Hampton's friends say there's another more sobering story here, one hidden in plain sight, the story of slavery on Long Island's East End. People always say to us, I didn't know. I was never taught that. Donna Marie Barnes, the curator of historic Sylvester Manor on Shelter Island, and David Rattray, the editor of the East Hampton Star newspaper, are working to remind New Yorkers that slavery wasn't just a Southern horror. They have founded the Plain Sight Project. Its goal... Negro man named Dick, aged 40 years. To identify all enslaved people and free people of color who lived and worked here. We're talking about like 180 years that slavery existed here in East Hampton, here on Long Island, that none of us really knew about. Rattray says slaves were owned by almost every family of means, the same people for whom East Hampton streets are now named and whose portraits hang in the village library. The proof wasn't hard to find. It lies in documents like these. This one is 1799. The account books, wills, and records of the Hamptons' founding families. Enslaved people, servants, are all clearly identified on the pages preserved in places like the local library. What does that say? But no one was looking for those names until now. We have always been a part of this community. Um, we helped build it. Including Hook Mill, East Hampton's iconic windmill. But last summer, when Black Lives Matter protesters gathered here, they had no idea Hook Mill was built in part by an enslaved man named Shem. This is the history that uh, we forgot to remember and remembered to forget. So far, the project has identified 500 people, aided in part by East Hampton High School students who made this video. But our research has uncovered that slavery was very much part of life on the East End. For David Rattray, one finding proved startling. He learned his East Hampton ancestors were among the slave owners. There it was. I mean, it hit me like a ton of bricks, and it's a sense of debt. And that now that I know, I can't sort of sit on that anymore, and I want other people to know. 1676, you have a free black man in East Hampton. Through education programs like this, the Plain Sight Project hopes to inspire similar research efforts in other towns, and maybe one day to find actual descendants of Long Island's enslaved people. Here lies the remains of Peg, Negro servant. This single cemetery headstone, the project says, really highlights how this history has been buried. Even though enslaved people numbered in the thousands on the East End, this grave is one of only two like it found in the entire area. We must resurrect their lives and their stories, the project says, to truly promote racial healing. Just asking the question, who was here, what did they do, changes minds. This isn't just black history, this is American history. Greg Sergel, News 4 New York.